Over the years, the aviation industry in Africa has improved tremendously, and there are some few airline companies that really stand out. Every year, Skytrax conducts an airline customer satisfaction survey, and from this, they get the World Airline Awards. Airline companies are selected for this award based on cabin crew and onboard services, safety history, reliability, consistency, and ground control services. Welcome to Think Rich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship rather than global pity is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed yet you are missing out. Without further ado, let's dive into our classification of 10 best airlines in Africa 2022. At number 10, we have FastJet. FastJet PLC is a British South African-based holding company for a group of low-cost carriers that operates in Africa. The company's stated aim is to become the continent's first low-cost pan-African airline, and the operation was initially created with the acquisition of Fly 540 and then upgrade to Africa. Flies in fast jets commenced in November 2012 in Tanzania, October 2015 in Zimbabwe, and November 2017 in Mozambique. Plans have been announced for domestic operations in South Africa, and as of February 2018, the airline operated for Embraer E-104-5. Aircrafts across East and Southern Africa has carried in excess of 2.5 million passengers, with an added rate of 90% on time performance. At ninth position, we have Egypt Air. Egypt Air is the national carrier of the Arab Republic of Egypt. Egypt Air is based at Cairo International Airport. The airline's network includes extensive domestic and regional shedded passenger and freight services within Egypt and Africa, as well as international services to Europe, Asia, Middle East, and North America. Egypt Air is among the largest carriers on the African continent and became a member of the Star Alliance in July 2008. Egypt Air Cargo is the airline's dedicated cargo division, serving Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. Number 8. Airlink Airlink is a local South African airline based in Johannesburg, South Africa. It is an airline that specializes in flying domestic flights across the country. Airlink is privately owned. It has a comprehensive network of over 4 to 5 destinations in 13 African countries and St. Helena Island. They are operating independently under their own unique 4Z flight code offering more freedom, more choices, and more travel opportunities. Airlink is Southern Africa's largest independent airline. It is also the third largest carrier in Africa, with more flights in February than Royal Air Maroc and Kenya Airways. Airlink has more than 50 commercial jetliners in their fleet. Seven, Rwanda. Rwanda Air Limited is the national carrier for Rwanda. It currently flies over nations in Western, Central and Southern Africa, the Middle East, Asia and Europe, with Kigali International Airport as its head. Following the 1994 genocide, the government attempted multiple times to resurrect the former national carrier Air Rwanda, which had suspended operations during the genocide. Several private businesses expressed interest in partnership with the government and SA Alliance Air, located in Uganda, controlled the company from 1997 to 2000. After SA Alliance suspended operations, 
The Rwandan government took over Rwandan operations and rebranded the airline to assure its continued existence. Rwand Air commenced operations as Rwanda's new national airline, Rwand Air Express, on December 1, 2002. Rwand Air received the International Air Transport Association's safety audit for ground operations in 2016. In 2017, the government of Benin granted Rwand Air the permission to conduct direct flights from Benin under the 7th Freedom. Rwand Air intends to station two Boeing 737 aircraft at Benin's Cotonou International Airport. Qatar Airways bought a 49% interest in Rwand Air in February 2020, two months after purchasing a 60% share in Rwanda's Bugisora International Airport. The Rwand Air fleet comprises 12 aircrafts, including six Boeing's 737 and two Airbus A330. In sixth position, we have Air Seychelles. This is the national airline of Seychelles and is headquartered on the island of Math. The airline flies several destinations across multiple countries in Africa and Central Asia. Air Seychelles was founded in 1977, initially flying only domestic flights until 1983 when the airline launched its first international flight, serving both Frankfurt and London. Over the years, the airline built and adopted its international routes network and now flies to several countries outside of Seychelles in 2014. Skytrax recently gave Air Seychelles a four-star rating following a thorough auditing process. In June 2013, the airline increased its global fleet from 133 to 56, joining the ranks of the most improved carriers. It was also named the second best airline in Africa. Fifth, Air Mauritius. Air Mauritius Co. Limited is the national flag carrier of Mauritius, based at Sir Siwusagarangalam International Airport, Port Louis, Mauritius. The corporation was founded on June 14, 1967, with a 27.5% interest each from Air France, the Boke Venture, and the government of Mauritius. The remainder was held by Rogers and Co. Limited, the general sales representative for Air France and Boke in Mauritius. Initially, the carrier operated international services in collaboration with Air France, Air India, and British Airways, all of which held a 25% stake in Air Mauritius at the time. Until 1972, the company's activities were limited to ground services. In August 1972, it began flying operations in its own right with a six-seater Piper PA-31 Navajo aircraft leased from Air Madagascar linking Mauritius and Rodriguez. The plane was decked out in Air Mauritius livery, but registered in Madagascar. The airline received receipt of two Boeing 767-200ER in April 1988, valued at $122 million and funded by a group of banks that included Barclays, BNP, Credit Lyonnais, and the Spectrum Bank. These planes were dubbed the City of Port Louis and the city of Curapipe. On 18 April 1988, one of them established a commercial twinjet distance record when it flew nonstop from Halifax, Nova Scotia to Mauritius, covering about 9,000 miles in less than 17 hours. A deal for these two Boeing 767s valued $8.9 million, including spare parts, had been inked a year before. A Boeing 707 was also leased from Air Swazi Cargo to operate cargo services in 1988, and the first ATR-42 began revenue flights in December, replacing the Twin Otters on inter-island routes. In September 1989, a second ATR-42 was ordered. Four, Royal Air Maroc which is commonly known as RAM, is the largest airline in Morocco, as well as the country's largest carrier. The airline was founded in July 1953 as a result of a merger of Emirac and Atlantis. RAM is completely owned by the Moroccan government and operates from the grounds of Casablanca Anfa Airport. 
In 2020, it became a member of the One World Alliance. The carrier runs a local network in Morocco, scheduled international flights to Africa, Asia, Europe, North and South America, and infrequent charter flights that include Hajj services from its base at Mohammed V International Airport. The newly created airline's fleet featured six Bredegnes, four Commandos, five DC, threes, and two Langdocks. These planes flew on routes formerly operated by predecessor firms, as well as to Frankfurt, Geneva, and Paris. The state owns 53.94% of the shares directly, while the Hassan Trent Fund for Economic and Social Development owns the remaining 44.10%. Private investors, notably Air France and Iberia, hold the remaining 2%. For almost 20 years, the government has pondered privatizing the corporation. The most recent plan, from late 2012, allegedly proposed selling up to 44% of the stakes to a Gulf airline. Now let's get into the top three best airlines in Africa. In the bronze position, we have Kenya Airways. Kenya Airways Limited, or simply Kenya Airways, is the country's flag carrier airline. Following the demise of East African Airways, the firm was created in 1977. Its headquarters are in Mbakasi, Nairobi, and its main hub is at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. The airline was controlled by the Kenyan government until April 1995, when it was privatized, making it the first African flag carrier to do so successfully. Kenya Airways is a public-private cooperation at the moment. The government of Kenya is the company's major stakeholder, 48.9%, with 38.1% owned by KQ Lenders Company, 2017 Limited, and 7.8% owned by KLM. The remaining shares are held by private investors, and the company's stock is traded on the Nairobi Stock Exchange, the Dar e Salaam Stock Exchange, and the Uganda Securities Exchange. The airline joined Sky Team in June 2010, and it has been a member of the African Airlines Association since 1977. As of December 2019, the Kenya Airways fleet consists of four Boeing 737-700, eight Boeing 737-800, nine Boeing 787-8, and two cargo fleet Boeing 737-300SF. Our silver position is being occupied by South African Airways. South African Airways, SA, is the country's flag carrier airline. The airline was founded in 1934 and is based at Airways Park at O.R. Tambo International Airport in Johannesburg. It maintained a hub and spoke network connecting over 40 local and international destinations in Africa, Asia, Europe, North America, South America, and Oceania. In April 2006, the airline joined Star Alliance, becoming the first African carrier to join one of the three main airline alliances. As a result of several years of financial deficits, the airline entered voluntary business rescue in December 2019 and discontinued all operations the next year. In June 2021, the government stated that, in an effort to resurrect the airline, it had formed a partnership with the Takatsu Consortium, which would own a 51% share. On 4 August 2021, the South African Civil Aviation Authority reported that SAA Air Operators License has been renewed with an acceptable fleet of eight aircraft. Despite not having reached an investment deal with the anticipated private partners, the airline resumed operations on September 23, 2021. Despite not having operated a single scheduled trip in 18 months, Skytrax named SAA the second best airline in Africa in 2021. As of January 2022, South African Airways fleet consists of eight aircrafts, including three Airbus A319-100, two Airbus A320-200, just to name a few. Our gold medal goes to Ethiopian Airlines. Ethiopian Airlines, originally Ethiopian Airlines, EEL, is the country's flag airline and is completely owned by the government of Ethiopia. EAL was created on December 21, 1945, 
and began operations on April 8, 1946, eventually expanding to international flights in 1951. In 1965, the airline became public and changed its name from Ethiopian Airlines to Ethiopian Airlines. Since 1959, the airline has been a member of the International Air Transport Association, and since 1968, it has been a member of the African Airlines Association, AFRA. Ethiopian Airlines joined Star Alliance in December 2011. The new spirit of Africa is the company's tagline. Ethiopian's hub and headquarters are located at Bol International Airport in Addis Abeba, from where it services a network of 125 passenger destinations, 20 of which are domestic, as well as 4 to 4 cargo destinations. Togo and Malawi are the airline's secondary hubs. In terms of passengers transported, destination serviced, fleet size, and revenue, Ethiopian Airlines is Africa's largest airline. Ethiopian Airlines is also the world's fourth largest airline in terms of the number of countries covered. It was one of the fastest growing companies in the industry and one of the most profitable airlines in Africa. In 2010, Ethiopian Airlines was named Africa's most profitable airline by air transport. The airline has the highest number of fleets in Africa with 112 planes. We have come to the end of our list of top 10 best airlines in Africa. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Share our video with friends and family. Give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to our community for more enriching information. Help our channel grow.